What's going on everybody? Dylan here with Espresso Outlet and today we are going to be unboxing the Breville Barista Touch and Press. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing of this. Uh, we're not going to use it today, we're just going to unbox it and see what comes with the box. So again, this is the Breville Barista Touch and Press. Um, so as you can see in the front, uh, it just shows you a picture of the machine. And then if you look here on the side, uh, you're gonna show that you have auto milk IQ. And on the side, you're gonna show that uh, you're gonna have different tamping pressures from the Impress. So the nice thing about the Impress is it actually grinds into the porta filter, and then you just use this little lever as a tamp. So it's pretty much perfect tamping every single time. And then it shows you right here on the side what exactly you get inside of the box. And then again, kind of Breville's signature is just showing different types of uh, espresso-based beverages. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. I do love how they have like these little pictures on the box like that. Uh, it just makes for a really nice, pleasant unboxing experience. So the first thing we're gonna see is an instruction manual. Definitely recommend checking that out, uh, especially if you're not used to the machine. Uh, it is nice to be able to read this, to care for your machine, and to be able to use it so that way you're not as frustrated when using the machine. You really don't want to try to rip this styrofoam in case you have to like send the machine back, um, and you just never know. So just be careful on this part. If you have to take your time, take your time. There are little handles on the top that you can kind of uh, pull from. So like I said, just take your time, wiggle it out of the box. And then we can just set that off to the side. So now that we have the machine completely unboxed, let's take a look at some of the accessories that you can expect when unboxing this machine. So you're gonna start off by having this nice little pamphlet. It actually comes um, inside of this hopper lid. And it's just telling you that a roasted on date coffee is better than a Best Buy or um, like a store-bought coffee just because it's going to give you a little bit better user uh, experience. And then we're going to go over a little bit more and it's going to say that you should tamp twice. So you should pull this lever down twice, which is pretty much showing you that it polishes it off and it makes it just a little bit more consistent. Um, so just make sure that when you do use this, kind of experiment with it. If you want to do it once, you can do it once. Uh, I'll be using it, so uh, I'll let you know my experience. This is just pretty much your instruction manual. This tells you how to use the machine, so I definitely recommend if you are new to uh, coffee or just Breville machines to go ahead and take a look at that machine. Next, you're gonna have a descaler solution. So I would say don't use descaling unless you absolutely have to. Um, that's really if you're using bad water. Um, I would say stick more with the cleaning tablets. You can actually buy more cleaning tablets um, pretty much anywhere. Uh, but these cleaning tablets uh, go along with the uh, accessory of a blind basket, which I will show you in a minute. And this is used for um, using it with your porta filter, so that way you can back flush your group. So you have your cleaning tablets, your descaler, you have this really nice Breville pitcher. I've really enjoyed using the Breville pitchers. I actually use this pretty much every single day uh, from when I first bought my Brista Express. Uh, it does give you a nice little minimum and max line right here just for a guideline i would say if you fill to the bottom of the spout you're going to fill up about a 12 ounce cup uh, which is pretty um pretty nice next you're going to get this cartridge uh, this water cartridge and uh, encasement so you're going to get the water cartridge all you're going to do is pop it into the encasement like that clip it on and install it into your water tank uh, it does give you, it's about a three month filter, so there is numbers um, on the side here, as you can see. Uh, that's just gonna tell you uh, what month did you put it in and what month you have to take it out. Next, we have our baskets. So it comes with quite a bit of baskets. First, you're gonna notice that you're gonna get a single cup basket. This is non-pressurized. 
comes with a single pressurized and a double pressurized. So it is definitely nice that it includes every single one of these baskets uh, inside of the box. So the one I have in here is a double basket and it's non-pressurized. This is a 54 millimeter porter filter. Um, and then uh, if you actually take off this drip tray, you're gonna notice some extra accessories that I already have put inside the uh, tool storage box. So uh, something really nice about Breville is they always include this tool storage box underneath to keep everything nice and organized and kind of out of the way. You're gonna notice you have a group head cleaning brush. You have your blind basket, which just pops into your porter filter like so. Put the cleaning tablet in, put it in the group. Next, you have a little kind of uh, cleaning tool for your steam arm. Uh, this just goes into, it's a little pin right here. It just cleans if there's any kind of milk crud uh, in your steam arm. I would definitely recommend doing that like once a week. And then you have the Breville's famous um, razor tool. This is just going to show you the, the correct depth for your coffee. So you can kind of do this and any coffee that you scrape up um, is excess coffee that you shouldn't have in your basket. And if it's not hitting it, then that means you need to raise the amount of coffee that you're grinding into your porta filter uh, up until it starts to smooth it all out with this razor tool. So I definitely think that this razor tool is um, handy and can be used quite often. So we can slide that in, put your drip tray here. All right. And uh, another cool feature of this machine is it does have this little uh, thermal reader. Uh, it's got like a probe here at the bottom. So when you do put your milk pitcher into here, it actually reads the temperature of the milk coming from that sensor, uh, which will allow your machine to stop uh, when you have it preset. So we're gonna go ahead and fill the machine up with water. Turn the machine on before we end the video just so you can kind of see the user interface. So right away you get this nice little latte art which is really cool. Very bright LCD screen. So for setup, we're just going to go English, we're going to go degrees Fahrenheit, select default milk type, we're going to go just dairy. Set time, 7.45. Right away, the touchscreen does feel um, super responsive, which is nice. We'll go 7.46. Today is Thursday, September 5th. Welcome to the cafe quality at home. Follow the next few steps to set up your barista touch and press. Accessories checklist. Wash and install parts. Prime the machine. Unpack everything. So it's really cool. It actually gives you a digital display of everything that it comes with, which is actually really cool. Remove the water filter cartridge from the package. Soak in cold water, set aside, and then continue. Install the hopper, accessory storage underneath, rinse the tank, milk jug, porter filter, filter baskets with warm soapy water and then dry them. Water filter assembly, fill the tank, water hardness, um, you can test or use default, so we'll just use the default. System priming, get ready for placing the jug under the group head and make sure the drip tray is empty. So let's go ahead and do that. So 
So we're gonna put this underneath here. And it says, get ready by placing the jug under the group head and make sure the drip tray is empty. System priming. Tap start to prime the hot water spout. Let the water pour into the drip tray. All right, so right now we are currently priming So currently you have water coming out, just priming everything up. Now it's priming the steam arm. It's actually a really cool process. Priming the steam one now, hot water will discharge into the drip tray. All done, you have successfully set up your machine. Let's brew some coffee. Get to know your barista touch and press. You'll need to, um, you'll need fresh whole beans in 10 minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and go over some of the diagram. So it says, uh, your barista touch and press. You have your grind dial, which is on the side over here. You have a tamp lever, which is right here. And then you have your grind cradle, which is down below, your portafilter, your bean hopper, which shows you a picture of everything, which is actually awesome. Um, water spout, group head, and steam wand. So what you'll need, freshly roasted beans, a clean coffee cup, a clean cloth, milk is optional, depending on if you want a milk-based drink, in approximately 10 minutes. Drink selection. Navigate by swiping left or right. Tap the drink icon to select the coffee you want to make. Select the drink. Wow. So you, uh, on here you have espresso, a latte, a flat white, a cappuccino, and Americano. I mean that's pretty awesome. So this is just going to take you into the next step. So. This is the main menu, I'm assuming. Honestly, I'm very impressed with the display. The touchscreen is very, very nice. It's very responsive, and it's got very nice, vivid uh, clip art here. So um, overall, super satisfied with the unboxing experience of the um, Brevo Barista Express Touch and Press. And if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video where we will unbox our next machine. Peace.